Hello from the Dukas Copy TV studio in Geneva. We're talking about insurance for top executives and how to modify it according to the top executives' needs with Mr. Patrick Starke. He is CEO of Starke and Company in Basel. Welcome to the studio. Thanks. So what is actually the value of a real optimized liability insurance? We see the value actually threefolded. There's uh, once the analysis and the evaluation of an alleged liability case. And then if, for example, well, the insurance company finds out that there is no basis for a liability, then it will defend uh, the manager, the accused manager, and um, also their costs uh, to get him out of this uh, case. Um, however, if there is a basis for liability, then they will uh, settle the case and pay the claim and therefore I think we, it's a mandatory insurance nowadays for every responsible person. Mm -hmm. so where do companies have to put special attention on when implementing the DNO protection? At first I would say that it's very important uh, for all insured persons to be um, covered in one uniform worldwide coverage. Um, and uh, sometimes it happens that uh, international companies have additional local policies um, but they have all connections to the main contract in um, the country where the headquarters reside. And um, so it is a coordinated program approach, which guarantees full coverage for all persons insured. Secondly, I would uh, recommend uh, that coverage applies uh, not only for cases of simple negligence, because it's a very small liability corridor there. Um, it should also attach to cases of gross negligence. Um, the prejudice there is that um, the insurance company has to waive its right of reducing the compensation in cases of uh, gross negligence, which is granted by the Swiss insurance contract law. Um, and uh, thirdly, um, I'm thinking of uh, certain exclusions, which are standard uh, nowadays, but um, some of those could be either re-included or modified to the advantage of the insured person. I'm thinking of um, cases where um, taxes or insurance premiums, social insurance premiums were not duly paid um, or on cases of criminal proceedings and um, environmental damages and finally um, on claims cases in the US. Mm -hmm. And so if we highlight the already insured companies and top executives, what do they have to uh, put their focus on? Um, well, managers uh, should have the biggest interest to find out if the company they are working for has indeed taken out a professional and broad D&O coverage for them. Um, it would be ideal if these managers could get a handout of the coverage. Um, if that's not possible, because some uh, companies are cautious and um, keeping these uh, insurance under the table, because it's quite confidential, um, then a contractual warrant in favor of the uh, manager would be good. And it um, should not only attach to the um, time when the manager is working for the company, but also for a potential resignment um, for the uh, cases which might pop up after the resignment of the manager, but originate from the time before. And when we talk about limits um, and uh, yeah, uh, limit amounts for DNO insurances. What limits are we talking about? Well, we could um, differentiate between bigger international companies um, where we see sometimes um, three digit million numbers as insured limits. Um, traditionally, in, in English speaking countries, claims and also accordingly limits are higher than over here. Um, but on the other hand, markets are uh, aligning on the high end, which we see. And um, Right now, insurance markets are quite soft still and um, they offer favorable uh, conditions for companies. And therefore, we think it is uh, not advisable to choose uh, buying limits um, too tight. Um, but if we um, regard small and medium sized enterprises, we see figures ranging from 10 up to 15 million francs. And finally, Mr. Starke, how important is D&O insurance in the scope of risk management? Well, for the um, individual manager, obviously very high. Um, but we see it a little different in the angle of an uh, enterprise. Um, 
despite the increased numbers of uh, claims that we see, uh, we think that um, not yet enough effort is taken in order to manage those directors and officers or management risks properly enough. Um, we see too often that internal controls and audits are the predominant uh, tools to manage these risks. But um, the disadvantages of these tools that they only provide information on an ex post basis. So um, the case has already happened and uh, you can only undertake root cause analysis instead of really um, managing these risks properly. Thank you very much, Mr. Patrick Starke, for being here and sharing this information with us. Thanks again. And thanks for watching. This was the third part of our series regarding insurance for top executives. You find the other interviews on the website of Dukas Copy TV. Have a great day and see you next time. Bye.